Nokia 3720 Classic, expected third quarter 2009. Billed as Nokia's most rugged mobile handset to date, the Nokia 3720 Classic is an IP54 certified handset that's resistant to shock, water and dust ingress. Although not as resilient as some phones, like the Sony XP3 or even the Samsung B2100, the Nokia 3720 Classic should survive most things that life throws at it. We got a glimpse of the 3720 a few days ago with a couple of Nokia teaser videos, which show the handset being kicked about and then used as a golf ball in the rain. So we feel it should probably survive the odd bit of water and being dropped onto the floor, which is a rather more normal thing to happen. It's quite a smart looking handset. The 3720 Classic is much more normal looking than some other rugged phones. A combination of stainless steel and leak resistant panels give it a discreet air of toughness rather than making it look like a brick. Perhaps the most obvious thing to notice is the screw lock that keeps the battery compartment shut. Underneath the toughened exterior, the Nokia 3720 Classic is a pretty basic GSM only phone. It has a 2.2 inch 320x240 pixel display, 2 megapixel camera with LED flash, micro SD expandable memory, a multimedia player and a stereo FM radio. One useful feature is a built-in LED flashlight, which is something that we'd like to see in more handsets. The 3720 also supports Bluetooth 2.1 and USB connectivity. There's a large 1050 milliamp hour battery, which gives up to 7 hours talk time and 18 day standby time. The standard sales package also includes a 1GB memory card, stereo wired headset, BL5CT battery and an AV8 charger. This is a Series 40 phone so it comes with a web browser and email client plus all the usual applications that you'd expect. The micro SD card comes with preloaded Nokia maps, although the Nokia 3720 Classic does not support GPS. Despite all the 3720's toughness, it weighs in at a reasonable 94 grams and measures 115 by 47 by 15 millimeters. This is a little larger than the standard GSM phone these days, but it is hardly bulky. Nokia say that the 3720 Classic should be available during the summer in grey and yellow colour schemes at an estimated price of 125 euro before tax and subsidy. In our view the 3720 is long overdue. Nokia haven't made a robust handset like this since the 5500 and 5140 iPhones but there does seem to be a small but significant market for this type of device. Now if only they'd add GPS.